Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sumi back again with another video on Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Today we're going to be looking at the 50 million credit intel that Argo sells you. So first of course you're going to want to go to the exchange information. It'll be at the very bottom, 50 million credits. Quite a bit, I think it's the most expensive thing in the game, to my knowledge. Anyway, I'm not sure if this is necessary, I feel like it is since I wasn't getting any of the uh, any of the requisite items until I did this myself. Unless I just somehow managed to miss all the chests while I was just bumming around in the frontier. Once you buy that, go into your items, hop over to the key items, and the first time you actually hover over these, they're all going to have the word new next to them. So you're actually going to want to find hidden event intel and hover over it. And you can see the second sentence here says, even just reading this seems to be a flag. So I believe this is actually where it all starts. That trigger is going to put the earrings in the chests. Now I do have accessory cologne with 22 hours left on it. So all of the emblems are going to be dropping as legendaries and unidentified. But we'll just go down the list. So just bear with that or keep that in mind. So starting with the field stuff, let's just go ahead and start at the Icicle Prison. And I believe it's A through E that are located in the field. But for this video, we're just going to run to all the locations. So feel free to speed it up, fast forward if you want to. First location is going to be right here. It's going to be our emblem A, or earring A. Probably can just go up and over, to be honest. Let's see. Looks like it. Not going to bother killing anything. Difficulty set to easy, just to make this easier on us. Okay. There's our A. Now the next one is here. Whoops, I don't think I marked that. I didn't. Okay. So, this is pretty much the reason why it's on easy for this. So I can mark things and not have to worry about the extreme mobs level 200 killing me in a couple of shots. To avoid confusion, I'm not going to grab any unnecessary chests for this video either. And I think we'll just see how long it takes to get all of these field ones, and then I might just go all the way through the dungeons, or I might skip around a little bit and just show the locations. But we'll see. I will be leaving some timestamps to the places where the like the field ends and the dungeon begins, things of that nature. But there's our emblem B. Was in that chest there. Next emblem is, I believe, this one. So we'll go ahead and mark that. Make our rounds. If we weren't in combat, I would just teleport to all of these places, but this probably helps a little bit with getting a feel for where everything is. Whoops. While we're running back and forth, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about DLC 4 here. None of the DLCs before this one were as long. The first three were kind of just like a three-part story, and none of them were that difficult. The final boss of the third one, spoiler alert, the behemoth thing, can be kind of a pain, but with some explosives, it's really a very easy fight. Whereas a couple of the bosses in this DLC are just really difficult. Even on normal difficulty, it took me several tries to beat the last one. Here's our Emblem C. Okay, Emblem D. It's going to be up here. But yeah, these... The final couple of bosses in this are just 
the difficulty just scales up so hard. Although I was a little bit under level. I think on normal difficulty for this, you probably want to be a bit higher level than the mo or the bosses, but I think I was like 10 to 15 levels lower than the final boss. And he really just laid me flat. It's kind of a problem that they have so many different skills they can just straight up one-shot you. So we'll be getting into extreme farming that pretty soon. I'm in like the early 200s. I've been messing around online a little bit leveling with the uh, the hardcore quests. There's our next emblem, that was D. And then E is very close to this location. Well, relatively close, I suppose. Is that a named enemy? It is. In case you're curious about the team layout, I'm just going down the list and getting everybody to Affinity 4. I'm a bit of a completionist, so I'm trying to do pretty much everything you can do in the game, including all the affinities, even the ones that aren't really that necessary. Although, there is an achievement for AG7 and Yuna doing all of their sleepover scenes. Let's see, this is the correct one, right? Let's just make sure... Yeah, this is gonna be the right one. Okay, that was E. So starting with F, these are going to be in the dungeons. Don't pay too much attention to this, I'm just gonna go in here to clear the combat so I can teleport. Okay, the dungeon list starts with the, what is this place called? Meteor, meteorological, that's a mouthful, institute. Okay. Now, in order to do the ones in the dungeons, you do need to get the three different key items that open the, the hidden doors in here which are going to be the observation records. I'm sure there are other videos on that. I'm not going to go into detail as to where those chests are. It's fairly easy to find. I believe there were quite a few guides on the Reddit on how to find the, the three observation things. But the first one's going to unlock this door. We teleported to the midpoint. And our earring F is going to be in the right chest here. Again, just to have a look at the map that's right here. We're just at the base level of the meteor meteorological <laughs> ruins. It's right next to a midpoint, so it's quite easy to get to. Next one is going to be in the midpoint area, and that's going to actually be located right over in here. We're going to see if that door is open. I get the feeling it's not, but we will certainly try. Okay, in a perfect world, I would just be able to turn left here. But I don't know that this door is actually going to be open for us. Okay. I'm just going to leave a system mode on, because I think we can probably either one-shot or come close to one-shotting the few mobs that are actually required here. So we definitely want to hit that. There is a door that needs to be opened here. Okay, so we're pretty close to one-shotting. And I'm lazy, so we're just gonna... No-scope these guys, for the most part. To get this bottom door open. These guys too, the uh, the destroyers with the, the launchers, really cause problems. I think my team accidentally wiped like four or five times because of those things. Just I wasn't paying attention and they were slowly just killing the NPCs. Maybe a bit too strong. 
We don't actually need to kill the NPCs, or the, the enemies in here, I don't believe. We just need to, ow, hit these two floating orbs. Again, this is another reason why we're sticking around on easy difficulty instead of anything higher. Because I probably would have died a dozen times in here already. I don't know if I actually need to clear these guys. But yeah, as you make your way back, once you hit the three balls, it respawns enemies in here. We're gonna find out if the door is shut up here. If it is, I'll just snipe these guys. Okay, easy enough. There's also a artillery unit in here once you come back through. We might have to kill this room to get through this door. Looks like it. Again, this is kind of redundant if you've done this already. Not the most exciting thing. Feel free to just fast forward or skip to the next part of the video. Oh, wow. I guess the NPCs weren't even in here with me. Gotta love the AI. It's always frustrating watching the AI just fumble around. That's another reason why the bosses are so difficult towards the end of this DLC is they all just either die or do this kind of motion where they just sit here and flip. And our build a waifu is back there just... Who knows doing what? Maybe I'll get a revive at some point. She's got the AED shot up. Hey! Definitely some of the best AI work I've ever seen. 10 out of 10. Oh, wow, they didn't down him. Okay, this is going to be where you need the second observation data that you get out in the field to open this door. We'll just clear this room so we can get in here. The Icicle Prison is going to be kind of interesting for us to go through, I think. Since you have to go through to do all the puzzles to open the doors. And I believe the last of the chips, or the last of the earrings, is actually on the other side of the very last door. <laughs> Wait, no, second to last. The very last one is just going to be like right before the boss area. Well, this is obnoxious. I do not like that skill. I know that a lot of people like running that with like launchers and stuff. I actually hate it because it makes enemies just kind of go into like a rinse cycle. Comes a real pain in the butt to hit heads. I think that's all the enemies. Our next earring right behind this door. Alrighty. Next one. Why can't we teleport? Okay. Next one's already lit up on the map. It's gonna be right here. As soon as I'm able to teleport, we'll go right there. Oh, wait. Never mind. This teleporter's gonna take us right to it, I think. Oh. Okay. Room with no enemies? Alright. Nothing in here, okay. Okay, just down into the left it looks like. Still no enemies. Kind of strange for stage design. This has gotta have them. Oh, this has... an obnoxious amount of them. Let's just see if we can explosive shot our way through this.
In case you're curious about the sniper that I'm using. Just really quickly. Ignore the experience boost. That'll be ex exchanged for explosive shot or something like that later. Fairly maxed out. Probably as good as a sniper can get aside from the experience points. Weak spot damage still needs to go up. But yeah, it makes everything a lot easier if you have something like that. And I've got another video up on how to get this Grim Reaper. I gotta say, I find farming with the three different colognes that Argo sells much more efficient. That's how I got such a good roll on this one, actually. Uh, okay, this is where you need Observation Record 3. And this one's fairly simple. It's gonna be right there. And that actually is the end of this dungeon for us. So we're just gonna teleport through here. Can I teleport right now? Of course not. I didn't want to anyway. You didn't see that. Boy. Not actually gonna pick that up. Wow. That's kind of a pain. reason I'm not picking that up is just so whenever we go to identify, you guys can see A through K or whatever it is. Okay, we're going to kill this boss real quick, I suppose. It shouldn't take but a moment, I'm just trying to teleport. That's a pretty nice crit. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, let's head to the Icicle Prism. Prison? The first of the earrings is going to be very close to the start. There is kind of an obnoxious boss at the very beginning of this dungeon. I just woke up, so my headshotting probably will be a little bit off, but we'll see. Maybe I can just get a good crit on this guy and he'll drop. Excuse me. Okay, very last one that's really a pain. Let's go ahead to the midpoint. I'll make this as quick as I possibly can. There will be some puzzle spoilers in here, so if you haven't done this yet and you just feel the need to do it, did I go to the right place? I think I did. This is our emblem, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this right path doesn't actually mean anything to us. Yeah, there's some puzzle spoilers in here, so if you haven't done it and you need help with it, this also is a good place to start. I don't remember if I need to clear these guys. I can just turn around if I do. 
Okay, no. What about these guys? Oh, I remember this. Okay, this is actually kind of a pain in the butt. Unless you just somehow manage to land some ridiculous headshots or horn shots on him. Now, the burning question is, do I actually need to clear everything in here? If the answer is no, then that would be cool. Where are you going? Boy. I think he's going nuts. There we go. Okay. Guess we are clearing this after all. Effectively making this the most obnoxious of all the earrings. Alright, that should do it. One can only hope. Whew. Okay. So, usually you would go find the... The picture on the wall of these. We don't really need to. I vaguely recall this being the sequence. Actually, that one might not even be necessary. But if you haven't done it and you need that information, you can see it here. I think this is just a boss area, though. Right? Yeah. So we don't actually need anything in there for the quest we're currently working on. Okay. Next emblem is right here. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, and that one was earring number J. Last one's going to be K. Can we teleport? Oh, thankfully we can. Okay. Okay, there's actually not a teleporter. Or there is and I missed it. Well, this will only take a moment anyway, it's alright. So real quick, where we're going is right here-ish. There's a chest hidden in the corner right there of the depths. So if you want to fast forward through this, if you don't want to watch me slowly kill and do these puzzles, or this last puzzle, feel free to just jump ahead. I think there's one more obnoxious room here. Do we actually need to do anything here? No. Okay, this room is actually skippable. So, one and two. Oh, maybe it's not skippable. Oh, okay, that doesn't actually open that door. It opens the door on the outside. So I guess we'll accept our fate run through and just no scope these things wow the AI actually did something useful I was gonna say there's no way they killed this thing however 
we don't really care much for the AI, so we're just going to go ahead through. Okay. This is the door that that sequence opened. Pretty roundabout. I think this is the last major room here. It becomes like a mini boss rushes. Boss rush ish area. Having some pronunciation issues. Oh. The very end of this. I believe one of those horn boys pops up up here. We're going to try to just knock him down. Hopefully. What? What? Of course. Okay, change in plans. Why? Well, that's the beauty of easy difficulty. We can just pretty much blow him up if I can hit my shots. Wow. Alright. There we go. Alright, sequence here, I think, is one, three, five, seven, nine, or something like that? It doesn't seem right. No, I think it's one, two, five, seven, nine. That looks more correct. We'll see in a moment anyway. One, two, five, seven, nine. Cool. While we're in here, I'll keep my eyes peeled for any kind of teleporter. But I really just don't see anything. Unless it's down that hole. I doubt it, though. Oh, it's right in front of me. I have been through here a couple of times and never clicked that. I must be a fool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the last one that requires any major effort is going to be right here. Oh. Well. There we go. Okay. Earring K out of the way. That concludes our dungeon earring. So the last ones are very easy to get. I'll quickly just show you how that works. We're gonna go to the oops, to the lobby. And as you may have noticed, all of the accessories are inside of chests. That is no different here. So you don't actually get the earrings from completing these, which is important because you don't actually need to complete these for what we're doing anyway. See, I did a couple of them. So the, the last 15 emblems are going to be located in the first 15 of these party hero quests. The last three aren't important for the quest. But each one of the earrings is in one of these areas. So we'll quickly just go through the first one, just to give you an idea. These are very easy to find. You shouldn't have any issues finding them, really. I think maybe half of them are actually located in the preparation room before you even fight these bosses. But this doesn't require completion. You can grab your chest, and then you can just leave. 
So as we start, the chest is right here. There's our earring. If we don't want to retry, we're done. And realistically, that's the end of what you need to watch, really. You could stop the video here if you want to save some time. You shouldn't have any issues finding the other stuff. And I believe it's the PvP desk over here. Once you get all 26 of those emblems, you'll talk to one of these two, I think it is. I haven't done it yet. But from what I've read, it's one of those two NPCs. And you'll actually unlock the schoolgirl and schoolboy outfit design. So Asuna can make you look extra kawaii. But yeah, go ahead and stop the video here if you're fine finding these on your own. I'm going to go through the rest of them really quick. Just in case you're having any difficulties, so feel free to stick around. There's our earring. Rinse and repeat. I don't actually know what you get for completing these. Maybe I'll do that next. Honestly, the worst part of this is just the countdown, waiting for it to start. As soon as it starts, you're basically done within a couple of seconds. There's our next one. As I progress through the rest of the content in the game, I know there's not a whole lot left. I think we're getting a couple of updates soon. If you guys notice anything that you're having difficulty with, or... Anything you could use some advice on. Let's see. Okay, this is the next one. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Just let me know what it is. I'll be happy to make a video on it. Assuming you enjoy the slower paced videos with a bit of commentary. I don't really edit around and jump around like a lot of videos, but hopefully you're at least a little bit entertained. Okay, next one might have guessed it is in roughly the same place. Initially, I thought all of these were going to be inside of the preparation areas, but they're actually not all. I'll show you what I mean here in a moment. All right, number five now. Team class. Interesting. What's that? Kirito, Elizabeth, Silica, Argo. Okay, they're just using the first letter of each name. Um, okay, this is the first one that's actually not in the starter area. I gotta work on that habit of saying actually too much. This one you're actually just gonna... There it is again. Turn around. Hop down here. We're all done. Once I finish all of these, I will go talk to those PvP desk folks. And we'll go ahead and turn it in just to figure out if that is the real place or not. And if it's not, we'll troubleshoot a little bit. What was that? Class? Now we're on... I haven't done anything with Rain yet. I think Rain is one of the last few characters I need to finish the affinity with.
What is she dual wielding SMGs? It's pretty hardcore. Okay. Our next one is right up here. Kind of out of sight. This is the first one that we've really had to look for other than the one right before it. We're on the dirty scissor. Not safe for work. Team Pain. It's kind of a weird matchup, actually. Oh, there's that actually word again. Pito M. Yuna and AG. I'm not caught up on the anime, but I don't believe these characters are involved with each other in any way at all. I believe everyone from the Lin arc is in Gun Gale alternate. So I'm not sure why they would pair these guys. I guess I haven't really been paying attention to what the teams look like. So maybe we've had a few pairings like this already. That one just really struck me as odd. Okay, we're on Team Lack. It's your boy, Aegil. Probably one of the more difficult chests to find. Cough, cough. Note to self, don't take Aegil again. He's kind of slow. I think we're past the halfway point. This is taking quite some time. Okay, we're on nine. Six more. Oh, wow. Okay. Another super difficult one. Honestly, I'm not sure why this is even a thing. Like, why are we having to go through the trouble of watching 30-something loading screens? Just for this outfit. But if you guys have managed to stick around this long, then much appreciated. Thanks for your time. Hopefully you're not terribly bored. Well, the, the entertainment value has probably plummeted significantly in this last half of the video. I don't remember where this one is. Okay, wait a minute. Never mind, this is just a repeat of the last one. Looking at the Hero Quest payouts here, it seems like they pay out quite a few medals. So if you're trying to metal farm, this might actually be the more efficient way to do it. Let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. First 15 are 100 medals apiece, last ones are 300. Speaking of the last ones being 300, which one did we just do? Was it this one? No. We were Asuna, yeah. So we're on 11. With everyone's favorite, Sinon.
looking at our mini map, I've got a pretty good idea of where this one's gonna be. Okay, four more to go. Team Clip. Are these all acronyms? I haven't been paying attention. I think one of them was like A-A-A-L. So I don't know if that qualifies as an acronym. Team Al. Uh, okay, this is another one that's in the boss area. Oh. Please don't. Whew. He was coming for me. Alright. Up here on the ledge. Done and done. Three to go. Wait, what? Okay, I guess we're doing number 12 again. That's some interesting game design. 11, 12, 12, 14. Okay, so I think there's a memory chest on the left here. So there would have been a memory of one of the NPCs in here. What those memories do, they actually... There's that actually word again. They increase the affinity you gain with the specific AI that the memory is of. So if you get memory of Klein, Klein for instance, Klein's affinity will go up faster. There's our AI. AI? There's our earring. Finished. 12 version 2, jumping to 14. Thinking about it, this quest eats up some inventory space too. You've got to have 26 spaces just for the emblems. Not to mention anything else you pick up along the way. I don't know if I'm a fan. 50 million credits isn't really that much once you get into the Swing of farming for credits. Oh, that's kind of a cool sword. But still, 50 million credits for an outfit is kind of excessive too, I think. I guess they intended for this outfit to be, like, the very last outfit. Just the cherry on top, perhaps. Okay, this quest is right here. And we are finally at the last one. Quite the marathon. Well, if nothing else, this kind of shows that it doesn't take really that long to do all of this. We're at the f roughly 45 minute mark of the video. And we're just finishing the 26th emblem. And this could have been done a lot faster, like the icicle prison, prison thing, for instance. So you really don't have to spend too much time doing all of this. It's just do you want to sacrifice half an hour to 45 minutes for the schoolgirl outfit, schoolboy outfit. I do, but maybe not everybody does. Okay, before I forget, let's go to Aegil, appraise all of these earrings. We'll take a look, make sure we didn't miss any real quick, and then turn them in. And finally be done with probably the most tedious thing I've had to do so far. Okay. 
Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 26 emblems, earrings, whatever they are. Happy to be done with that. To go see what happens when we turn in, or where we turn in. Should be right over here, right? Okay, some special dialogue. Thank you for your continued patronage here at the Accessory Exchange. Wait, are those? This may be an odd question, but are those all 26 pairs of the emblem earrings? Never in my wildest dreams, blah, blah, blah. You see one? Yeah, be honored. What? <laughs> we get anything else for turning it over here? Probably not, right? Nope. Okay. Now the last thing we're gonna do, go see what Austin is up to. Alrighty. Oh boy. Looks like I've already got the requisite materials for them as well. That's cool. So great. You can actually dye these things too if you talk to your Arphasis in your home. I think you have to upgrade the, the house first. I don't know for sure. Yeah, you can change these colors since these aren't really the most attractive colors. Although I guess that's decent for a guy. Not loving that though. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end if you did. Make sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comment section if you need anything else. Any videos on anything that's confusing you. Really appreciate your time everybody. Hope you got something out of this. And yeah, thank you very much and take care everyone.